All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you and welcome to our Yum Brands uh, My Equipment 360 webinar about how to create your custom kitchen catalogs for the different footprints in each of the Yum Brands uh, restaurants. I'd like to introduce you to the team that is doing the presentation today. We have Steven Siddharth. He's our e-commerce manager here at Heritage. He'll be the one to walk you through um, the different features and benefits of My Equipment 360. My name is Abby Weiss. I'm the marketing manager here at Heritage. And some of you may be familiar with Erica Carter. She's our customer service team leader that specializes in Yum! Brands. So you've probably worked with either Erica or Rachel um, in your day-to-day -day at Heritage. So just a little bit of housekeeping here before we get started. In the upper right corner, you're going to see a chat, uh, Q&A, polls and handouts. Those are um, different ways that you can interact with us throughout the webinar. Um, you can ask questions in either the Q&A or the chat, um, and we'll be able to get back to you as soon as we can um, at any sort of a natural break in the presentation. We'll try and address your questions. Um, we're also recording this for future use, so just so you know, you'll be able to get a copy of this webinar and share it with your teams. What you'll learn today, you're going to learn a few things from Steve about how to request your franchise kitchen footprint, which obviously is the starting point for the Yum! Brands program. You'll learn how to add or modify your catalog once you have the footprint in your My Equipment 360. And you'll also learn how to add other members of your team. So let's get started by taking a quick poll. In the upper right here, we're going to go to the poll section. And about what percent of your kitchen manuals do you have on hand and you know actually where they're located? Like if somebody was to be like, oh, just go grab that manual for that fryer, you could actually find them. Anyone else? All right. See a few of you popping in here. All right. Well, just so that you have a bit of a reference, that's how most of these go when we do these webinars is pretty much everybody's below 50%. If they're above 50%, they're probably an all-star. Um, this is just one of the many reasons we created My Equipment 360 for customers is so that you can centralize your maintenance plan and um, be more efficient in your preventative maintenance and be able to make repairs quicker. I'm ready to hand this over to Steve and he's going to take you on a deeper dive into the functionality of My Equipment 360. All right, thanks, Abby. Let me go ahead and take the screen share over. And let's see, just a second here. Uh, give me just a few seconds, everyone. I'm having some technical difficulty getting this share to work. So,
All right, it'll be uh, just a second. I'm going to have to do the demo from Abby's computer, so hopefully the screen share will work. Okay. You know what? Actually, I think I saw how you did that. Did you select the the square? Yeah. Is that what? Okay. So they should be able to see it now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. A uh, little technical difficulty, but we are back on track. Steve, are you? Looks like you're loading. There it is. All right. Thanks, guys, for waiting. All right. So. To access My Equipment 360, you'll need to be on either our, our website or in our mobile app. And you can just go to heritageparts.com to access the site or search for Heritage Parts within uh, Google Play or the App Store to find the app. <clears throat> but you'll need to be logged into your account to view your customized catalogs um, as they're user um, specific. If you don't have a login, uh, you can raise your hand in the webinar now, and we'll be happy to reach out with you uh, to you after mm -hmm. this and help you set that up. Yeah, if you if you reach out to Erica or Rachel, they can get that information over to us, and we can get uh, whether whether it's KFC, Taco Bell, or Pizza Hut, we can get them all loaded for you. Yeah. So I'm already logged in, and all it is is your email address and a simple password, and you'll be able to get in. But My Equipment 360 is in the header here, and I just click on that, and it'll take me to the My Equipment 360 portion of the website. <clears throat> so what you have are two options here. Um, you're allowed to save as many catalogs or equipment lists as you'd like within My Equipment 360. And you have the option to create a new one here, or if you select this drop down, you can view all of the catalogs that you have saved in your account. And typically, we see users uh, creating catalogs and saving them by location. Uh, I know in, in your case, uh, equipment footprints across uh, the different brands uh, under Yum Brands are. Uh, you know, very similar, and we have catalogs already pre-made for for several of those brands, including Taco Bell and KFC. So, if I were to select the Taco Bell full catalog, <clears throat> it would show a list of equipment that's already been added to this catalog. Now. This is a shared catalog, and there's multiple users that can access this. Um, so if I make edits to it or notes to it, the other users would be able to see that. So what we would do is set up a unique catalog that has your equipment footprint for you um, and assign it to your account if you'd like it to not be shared. So if you're making notes or edits within a piece of equipment, those would only be seen by you. I'm going to show you how to create a new catalog next. <clears throat> if I click the Create New Catalog button, I can name the catalog whatever I'd like. So I'd say for this, I can just call it the Yum Demo. But as long as it's meaningful to you, it, it could just be Store 123 or or, or whatever uh, distinguishes this equipment list for you. Uh, you can input an address. The uh, address fields are optional, but um, I'll just put a Heritage Parts address here. Once you enter a zip code, it'll populate the city, state, and country for you. And if I hit create. Uh, now we've we've created a new catalog. 
From here, you can start to add equipment. See, this is frozen. To the catalog, yeah, and it, it looks like my screen may be frozen. Uh, at least it is on Abby's. So hang on a second, I'll try stopping and starting again. There we go. So here we're, we're on the Yum demo uh, catalog that I just created. By adding new pieces of equipment, I just have to select a manufacturer. And in this case, uh, we'll just go with Blodgett. And then here you can see all the models we have on file for Blodgett. If I start typing in a particular model, it will drill into that and we'll add DFG 100. <clears throat> And if I have serial number data, I can enter that in this field. And then you can enter a name for the piece of equipment too. So if you know this is oven two or um, another nickname you have for it in your kitchen, you can add that there. The notes field allows you to save uh, custom notes that you can go back in and edit any time and so useful information you could put in here may be an installation date or date of last service. You can also add in parts that you've replaced. So I'll add that. And here you can see this piece of equipment is now stored within my, my catalog. Um, quickly here, I'll just add a couple more lines. And then I'll show you what you can access when adding these different pieces of equipment. And I'll just add some random, random models here. So now I've got three pieces of equipment. If I go into Blodgett and click View, um, here I'm able to see all of the parts for this piece of equipment and all the manuals. If I click View Parts, it will take me to a product listing page that has all of the, the parts that fit this model here. If I need to make any purchases, I'm able to add them to the shopping cart from here and, and check out. If I'd like to view some of the manuals or documents related to this piece of equipment, I just click that and it will take me to this page. Um, from here, I can select choose a manual and it will show you a list of all of the documents that we have on file for this model. So. The, if I select manual here, it'll just open up this manual. Uh, we also have interactive parts diagrams for several of our, our models on the website, and I can select that here. And it will open up this diagram. Uh, if I hover over any one of the green highlighted numbers, it'll show the parts that fit within that diagram. And I'm able to select the part and view the details on the diagram. If I'd like to see a larger image of the part, I can also click the magnifying glass. And we've got uh, most of our parts with 360 images that you can rotate and zoom in and, and get more detail if you need to. And from this page, I'm allowed to add this product to my shopping cart and go into the checkout. But I'll navigate back to the equipment page here. And any of the fields that we added for serial number, name, or notes, I'm able to edit those at any time and 
um, save new new pieces of information about the equipment. The last thing I'll show you is the option to upload an image. If I click this plus sign, if I have images saved on my computer, I can select an image and add the actual image of the piece of equipment within your kitchen. Um, this also works on a phone, so if you're in your browser on your phone or within our mobile app, you can select that plus sign and it will allow you to take a picture with your camera and then upload the image uh, right into your catalog. To show you that this is mobile friendly, I can't do the demo on my phone with uh, the webinar, but what I will do is uh, shrink my screen down <clears throat> to about the size of a phone so you can see what it would look like if you were accessing the site on your phone. But our website is responsive and so it will fit any screen device or, or uh, size that you're accessing the site from and um, <clears throat> give you a good good user experience. So this is what the equipment list would look like on a mobile device. So if you have multiple service technicians uh, servicing the same kitchens or uh, different kitchens for that matter, um, we can help you manage the equipment list that you have. And uh, you just need to contact your customer service rep. <clears throat> and on our end, we can assign catalogs to different users um, or make sure that they're shared across the board for everyone to be able to add notes and, and share uh, information about each piece of equipment within the kitchen you guys service. But it's a, it's a wonderful tool to be able to have that documentation right on hand. You know, we, we did that survey at the beginning where you know, less than half of the equipment manuals you have, um, you, you're not really sure where they are, but with My Equipment 360, you know exactly where, where everything is. And if you need to look up a model number or a serial number and you're at home or you're across town at a different kitchen, but you need to find out what the model number is for a piece of equipment within another kitchen, um, you can just go to the website and look it up and it's already saved right there for you. So there's a lot of benefits to it. Uh, this is a tool that we're investing in as well. So if you start to utilize it now, you'll notice we're going to be adding new features to it uh, quite frequently. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I won't reveal what those are yet, <laughs> but there's a lot of neat things coming um, to, to make this a tool that will make your jobs easier. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'll pass it back to Abby and let her take it from here. Okay, so we have a question from Colin. He's wanting to know if uh, My Equipment 360 has integration uh, features into Corrigo. That's a good question. Uh, right now, we do not. But uh, I am somewhat familiar with Corrigo, and um, that could be a possibility someday if we look to integrate our e-commerce platform with, with some of these other uh, platforms out there. Perfect. Um, and I know that we've attended Corrigo conferences in the past, so I know that it's definitely a platform that um, we've worked with. Um, but to Steve's point, there's going to be a lot more functionality coming with My Equipment 360, and I'm sure integrations at some point will be part of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, does anyone else have any questions offhand? Does anyone need this to be loaded to their online account? I see that Rachel is going to add Wade. All right. Well, we, we appreciate 
uh, everyone attending today. And a, a part of making this tool better is receiving feedback from our customers. So as you start to utilize My Equipment 360, uh, feel free to contact us or your CSR. They, they always will send feedback our way. Um, and that's the, the best chance we have at improving the tool and making it more useful for you. Yes, and um, if, especially functionality. Like, wouldn't it be cool if it did this? Those are, that's the kind of feedback we're looking for. So we appreciate your time with this. And real quick, I also wanted to point out under the handouts tab, um, there are um, instructions for going over what Steve uh, reviewed with you, and then there's also a template that you can fill out and send over to your CSR um, with the equipment that's in a particular store um, that if you would like help adding and populating your My Equipment 360 profiles to get you kind of off the ground and if you even need um, like a one-on-one -on -one a little bit just to, to give you a deeper dive into this, we'll be glad to, to coordinate that with you and Rachel or Erica can both help you with that. So Colin's one of my customers and we spoke about this yesterday. So what he's wanting is basically, he has two technicians under him and he wants to fill out all of the quote confirmations because everything has to be approved by him. So he wants those two technicians to be able to get into Hybris or buy equipment 360, do a quote, and have it generated to him, but he doesn't want them to have, they want, he wants them to have their own like username and password, but somehow be sent to him. He wants his username and password separately because he just wants his own privacy, which is fine. Um, so that's what we were talking about yesterday. Is there anything like that that we could build or would be built in the future, I think is what he's asking, so that yeah. these quotes can get sent to him and he can hit approved and then they just go through. That's actually a really good question. Um, so I, I'm gonna share my screen to help answer it actually. So if, if we go to the website, uh, we have an, another feature called My Quotes. And it looks like my, my screen is loading here. But every user within an account should have their own login so that we can track activity um, for, from each user. And um, not that we're tracking it, but it's for the customers to be able to track it. But uh, if everyone has their own login, everyone can run their own quotes. And whether you generate a quote through the call center or on our website, um, those quotes are saved in this My Quotes tab. And, uh, you know, I don't have any quotes in here, <laughs> but um, I can create one real quick and show you exactly how it would work, actually. So, because I've got parts of my shopping cart, and if I were to go into the checkout, From here, if, if I don't want to place an order right away, I'm allowed to just click Generate Quote. And now that I've done that, I'll have a quote saved here. But we give customers the option. Um, you can view just the quotes within your account, or if you're a manager, you can view all company quotes. So for all the other users who have created a quote, they'll okay. be able to view that here. And once you hit, you can select view quote and see the details of it. And we save the, the subtotal and the cost of shipping and it's all right here. Um, if they want to purchase it, they can go into the checkout and purchase it on their own or they can call the CSR again if, if they'd like to do it through the call center. But, that, that's all there. As far as getting the quote confirmation email, that confirmation email only goes to the user's email address. So um, if you want your user to forward that to you, you just have to, to make sure they know to forward it for approval. Okay. So, it's, yeah. and then how does Colin, I, I knew, I, I kind of forgot this existed, honestly. Um, how does he get, if anybody can get in and look at all the quotes for the whole company? 
Or is we, there something we have to set up for him? We set that up, and I think it's either in the the cockpit okay. or HMC. But if, if you know who should have access yeah. to view all of it, then we can do that. Okay. We can do that, and you can ask Christy about it. Perfect. Colin, I'll get you set up with that then. <laughs> I'll get you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you, Colin. Um, so, okay, we have another question. Uh, they want to be able to add more than one picture to show like a before and after yeah. of, and I know that we've talked about this already. Can you address like, is that coming or? Yeah, I, I think we're going to give the ability to add more than one. Right now it's just one, uh, just because it's a, it's a data storage issue. And if we, oh, okay. if we open it to the world to add as many pictures as they want <laughs> to each piece of equipment, we can be overwhelmed with our storage. But um, I think we're going to probably expand that to three images so you could take a few and save those within your catalog. Yeah, I think that, that this is an interesting comment that we've not heard before, but as a supervisor, I could see where this is a, where this could be helpful, where he's taking, uh, he's wanting to take, have the text take a photo of like a before and after they make a repair to make sure that they did it correctly. Yeah. So that's an interesting spin on that. I appreciate that comment. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else? Good questions today, guys. All right, well, um, if there's nothing else right offhand, uh, we will let you get back to your day. And feel free to reach out to any one of us, whether it's Erica, Rachel, even Steve, or myself. Um, and we can, we can definitely help you get this set up. All right, well, we appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Thanks, all. Okay, bye-bye.